Hey everybody, uh, so yeah, it's finally a gorgeous day out, no rain, plenty of sun, no winds, so I'm loading up right now to go take a look, go to the park, this is going to be the maiden flight of the Wizard X220, my last little setup video, I was able to kind of hover it around inside this garage. But I need a little bit more room. So we're gonna go to my trusty old spot. Let me make sure I'm not gonna hit anything. Yeah, I'm gonna go to my trusty old spot, the soccer field. You're probably tired of seeing that scenery. But guess what? There's nothing there to lose my quad in. And since I just lost my quad not long ago, um, I feel like this is a comfortable spot just as a maiden flight type of thing. Plus, I need to make sure my PIDs are okay. I need to make sure all my settings are what I expect them to fly at. Uh, I won't lie, I'm a little nervous. I haven't flown in what feels like forever, probably more like two weeks, but man, when you're waiting, that two weeks feels like forever. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's get there. And let's, let's see what this thing looks like. Alright, so we finally made it. Uh, let's go see if there's anyone playing in the field so I know if I have room or not. Because there's been times I've gotten here and guess what? There's a whole bunch of soccer players. Thousands of them. And there's really not much else. Alright. So in general, looks pretty empty over here. There's some maintenance going on, but those guys are usually okay with me being here. Yeah, that's the big soccer field you always see me fly at. I don't think you've ever seen it from that perspective. Uh, but yeah, let me get my stuff down there and let's get up. You pull me up from the dust and you redefine me. All right, you guys, that was awesome. That was epically awesome. I am absolutely in love with this machine. It's a little bit smaller than my old quad. I'm finding like I'm getting closer to these light poles right here. My dyslexic butt can't do these light poles. Getting closer than I was ever able to with my full five inch on there 
Now these are five inch blades. I mean, this is a 220, I mean to say, so correction on that. So yes, I have my 220 instead of my 250. This thing has way, way less weight to it. So, I mean, this thing is floating, it's flying. I was able to get the air mode to work appropriately so that, you know, when I drop my stick all the way down, it does what it's supposed to. And it gives a little bit of floatiness to it. Um, the range on that camera is already way better, way better than my original range was. Now it's probably because my VTX was really beat up on my old quad. I could maybe get to the end of this field right here. Maybe I would be going through this gate right here and my camera would pretty much be cutting out. And that's why all my other videos you saw, I was kind of just sticking close to where I was at because my, my, my camera range on there was almost nothing. And, and it would... Anytime I got close to these light poles, they have these little, you know, power units on them and the, it would just drop out. So I always played it safe, keep it close. This one I dared to get a lot closer to them with m almost minimal breakup. You have DVR footage. Now I'm sure my goggles get a little bit re better reception than the receiver on this. But I don't know yet. I haven't really tested. So when I review, excuse me, I'm gassy this morning. When I review this while I'm editing, I'm definitely going to be taking a look, compare them. I mean, mine in general, it got a little bit of snow in there, but nothing dropped out. No huge oscillation lines. I am probably going to stick just a little bit of foam underneath of the camera just to help stabilize it even more. But realistically, I think that's really about the only thing I need to do. Uh, well, I'm going to also add some better antennas on there. Right now, I have the Hyperion Progotas on my goggles. The stock dipole that's on there, because I lost my other antenna on my old quad. And I just didn't get a chance to go down and get it up. I was worried about getting the quad up in the air first. I'll worry about all the little modifications later. In case you're wondering what I was doing. I'm a big refurbisher, if you will. I, like, I go out on trash day and I look to see what people are throwing away so that I can go and reuse it. My backpack that you saw, my father was throwing that backpack away. The uh, strap for the quad is one that I actually found here. Looks like it was for like an equipment kit or something, but I like to walk around while my batteries are charging and just see what I can see. And I also like to pick up a little bit of trash. I mean, it's people said, oh, that's stupid. Why would you do that? This is my flight field. This is my airway. I, I want it clean. And I have to clean it myself because people are rude and they really don't care. No offense to you out there who like soccer, but soccer players do not give a shit. They really don't. They leave the fields so dirty. It's just disgusting. But I did find... A little cone it's chewed up to hell it has a name on it but I good to have a name it'd be better if it had a phone number or an address in case of lost but Bradley whoever you are if I meet you one day I'll give it back but in the meantime I'm gonna use this as like a marker you know get a few of these going it'll uh, as you saw in my last race line when I was coming around actually this right here right where I'm at, they'd come around right here and whip around this pole, but it's a lot of emptiness right there. So maybe I could throw this in the middle so that, you know, there's a marker of some sort. So we're gonna do that. And I see some trash out in the big field over here. So I'm gonna let my batteries charge. I got my tuning done. I'm gonna put everything in the shade so it doesn't overheat. And I'm gonna go see if anyone left anything else that's cool or lying around. Right now I just see bottles, but I wanna see what's all the way out there. All right, so we're going to let that charge. We're going to go take a look and see what people left lying around. And we'll come back for more. What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle.
waves reaching the microphone are changed into impulses of electric current. It's the most tremendous new musical experience you can have. I guess that'll wrap it up for the day. Uh, we got we got quite a bit accomplished. Um, we got it up in the air first off. As you saw in the first portion, I was having problems switching it from horizon mode over to the angle mode. And you know what? I was thinking about it like, hey, I'm not gonna get better at landing in wind and uneven ground, which is what I was using my horizon mode for. I'm not gonna get better at that doing it in angle if I don't do it. So, you know what, I just decided, you know, I, who needs it? As Josh Bardwell said, you know, I'm a badass FPV pilot and I don't need horizon mode. So we'll, we'll follow along with his example and, um, but I'm not disappointed with that. And we got it to actually do some acro, which was awesome. As we said, uh, those, those rates that I put on there were just perfect for my style. I mean, they may have seemed slow flips and whatnot, but for my style, I was extremely happy with the outcome of it. Uh, but now, I guess next, it's just time to do a little bit of upgrading with the actual antennas and whatnot. We'll call it a day. But yes, I hope you enjoyed the experience and adventure with me. It was definitely an adventure, I'll tell you, getting that thing set up and programmed. But, I mean, it's it's flying amazing, more than I could have ever hoped for my first time from scratch programming on there. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely happy with it. Go ahead, let me know some stuff that you would like. Like, if you're like, hey, you know what, I noticed you're doing this, why don't you try doing something like this? I, for instance, like my flips and rolls, I know they're not like dead on accurate and dead on smooth. So if you're like, hey, you know what? Let's try doing this or approach it like this and it will smoothen it out for you. I'll give it a try. Try not to be too mean, please. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and we'll call it a day. As I said for the third time already. And thank you for watching. <laughs>